but I, as, a, as someone, I was studying the law, and the more I was studying the law, I was very sort of into the criminal aspect of English law. What did you, did you, must have heard you have the, the pure media image of what they, maybe they'll put on the news like, oh, Muslims are terrorist fanatics, you know, they go around with Quran in one hand, and gun in another one. Um, you, know, the, you know, the women, they're forced to cover up, they're oppressed, they're, you know, sort of, you know, you know slaves of their husbands, you know, arranged marriages, all of these things. This is what the media is pushing about Islam. Um, and when I, this is, this is, I think, maybe what intrigued me to start off with, because when I was trying to find out what these people, what, why do they consider themselves Muslims, what is Islam, and it was, it was there, to start off with, they were saying, well, Islam's not, you know, about extremism and moderate, moderatism, it's not about oppression, it's not about, um, you know, backwardness and barbaricness, you know, that it's something which, that the, we as human beings are recognizing our creator, the existence of our Creator, that He is, um, you know, that He ha He knows us best. That He, um, for example, if we give the analogy of um, someone who makes a computer, someone who makes a computer, when he produces the handbook for how that computer works, he is the best one. He will know how that computer works. So if I want to know how the computer works, I'm not going to go to someone who made the microwave. I'm going to go to the one who made the computer because he is the one that knows how that computer works. So likewise, we as human beings, once we've recognized the existence of our creator, and we can do that by looking around at our reality and, you know, proving to ourselves, that, you know, that this world and all that's in it didn't just come from, you know, something from nothing. Once we've proved that, then we have to understand that our creator, he is the one that knows us best, not his creation. So why should I go to another human being? and ask him, well, how should I live my life? Yeah. Why should I go to John Major or to, you know, President Bush and ask them, how, you, you know, you're a human being, tell me how to live my life? Because them as, they as a human being are not going to know any better than I am how I should live my life. Only my creator is going to know how I should um, live my life in every, you know, small detail. Yeah. So this is what started, I think in a way, the media attack on Islam was something that made me want to look into Islam more. And I'm finding this now amongst many converts, it's the actual media attack. So that the media are sort of shooting themselves in the foot. Yeah. The more they attack Islam, yeah. the more they attack the so-called fundamentalists, yeah. the more people are wanting to look into Islam. Yeah, they're, br yeah, they, uh, they will, oh, let's just, you know, let's find out more about Islam then, you know, what is this terrorism, what is this fanaticism, what is these extremists? So it was that kind of thing which started me sort of looking into it. It was also from my background as Christian that I was never very um, comfortable with the idea that Jesus was the Son of God. It just didn't make sense to me. Um, and yeah, and the Trinity, you know, that one is, God is one and one is three and all these different types of things. So when they were like explaining to me that, you know, we, we believe in Jesus, we believe in Moses, but we do not believe that Jesus was the Son of God. He was simply a prophet who brought a message to mankind and the message was the same as what Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, what he brought, basically that there is one God and that we should worship him. So this really started beginning to make sense. 